Hi, if your PlayStation 4 is not working correctly, there's a few things it could be, of course. I'm not going to go into everything, but if you have one that reads discs and it's not reading your discs, well, I put a small fix that may help you um, a few days ago, but suppose none of your discs will work. None of them. I mean, even after you go through the fix I showed you how to do, well, there's a couple things you can do. Of course, you're going to have to rip into your PlayStation 4 or take it to a repair shop. See, Sony updated my girlfriend's PlayStation 4 and completely bricked it. Nothing was really working. I had to reinstall the system software several times to actually get things to start to work. Now, unfortunately, Sony does not let you back up or revert the firmware on your system. Once they put a bad firmware up on your system, you're stuck with it. They will not let you go back to an earlier firmware. Now, there are programs online that you can find that will help you do that and maybe fix your problem. But those are second-party and third-party programs that Sony, no, uh, they're not going to allow that. So use those at your own risk. Now, there's a reason that Blu-ray sucks so bad. Blu-ray games stink, and I'm going to tell you why. If they were on a regular DVD, the data on a DVD, think about lines, okay? Your data on a DVD is this far apart for each data line. For Blu-ray, they're like literally this far apart. They're ultra compressed, and so much more data can fit in that area than on a DVD. So, if you get a small scratch in a DVD, there's a really good chance that when it's playing, it'll just skip that scratch, because that's only one line of data. But, if you get the same size small scratch on a Blu-ray disc, you just took out six, eight, 10 lines of data in that one general area and that's going to screw up your game now i'm not talking about games today as far as working on your playstation there are very few things that you can actually do yourself and i would not advise doing any of them unless you have some skills and the right tools you would have to order a tool set um, offline has a bunch of little like hex tools in it I believe the PlayStation takes a 6 or 18 something like that uh, 6 or 8 something like that I do have the tools down here I just didn't don't have them out um, when you tear a PlayStation apart there's literally 40 screws in this PlayStation my girlfriend has the PS4 slim but, you can always replace your one Blu-ray drive. Now, if that doesn't work, you have a bigger issue. You see, there's a small circuit board in your PlayStation 4 that controls your Blu-ray drive. So, even if you replace your Blu-ray drive, that doesn't mean it's going to work or fix the problem. A lot of times, it is that little, little circuit board that starts going out. It is not controlling the disk drive like it's supposed to. And that could be your main problem. Problem is, you're not getting a hold of that part. Oh, come on, midnight. So, what can you do with a corrupted or bad PlayStation 4 that's not reading your game disc? If you did try the trick I told you to try, and if none of your games are working, absolutely none of them, one, Try to clean your PS4. There are various ways you can do that. There are cleaning discs that be sold online that they're selling. Most of them are not made for Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray drive, not a DVD drive. Even though it has a DVD laser installed, a Blu-ray laser is completely different. And it's in a different position. So if you get something that will clean the DVD portion, there's a good chance it's not going to clean the Blu-ray portion. 
So, what do you do with a PlayStation that's not picking up any of your games? Is it trash? Can you do anything with it? Well, yes and no. Hers plays DVDs just fine. It did before I replaced the drive. Now, since I replaced the drive with a brand new drive, and I've had to do the trick with the disc to get some of her disc to pick up, that means that it was not the Blu-ray drive. Most likely, it's that small circuit board that controls the drive. So, you can't fix that. You can't get parts for that. I can't get parts for that. How and why Sony would use such cheap junk and a machine that literally was $800 when it was brand new. And since the PS5 already came out, my girlfriend bought hers. Hers was new, but it was $400 damn dollars for this machine a year and a half ago. And she has not played a lot on this machine. Literally. She is only off three days a week. And some weeks, she didn't play games at all. Literally. She would watch anime or movies or whatever. Uh, watch YouTube. So this machine has not been used a whole lot. What I have, re I have replaced on this machine? The hard drive. It is a brand new one terabyte hard drive. The Blu-ray drive. Both of those have been replaced and it still does the exact same thing about reading the disc where I have to do the disc trick to get it to read the disc. Now Instead of replacing all that, what can you do if you don't have the money to replace all that? Is it worthless? Of course not. You can still watch DVDs on it. I wish you could play um, just regular um, CD audio on here, but you can't. But what if you can't get any game to load at all? What can you do with it? Well, if you go to the store... Go down to games, right there. Now push over on your directional button, and you'll see must see feature coming soon. Includes PS5 version, which you don't want. Genres and free. Go down to free. Then push all the way over to the right. And you'll go to all free games. Now, some of these are trials, but some are full version games. So, if nothing else, you can actually download a game or two and play it. Now, the problem with this is if you've already downloaded some of these games and you had to replace your system software and your hard drive, they're going to still show up as you purchased them once before. And you cannot download them again. Period. For any reason, they will not let you do that. See, right here, Rocket League. I do not have Rocket League on here. Uh, this is a new hard drive. I did not have a choice but to replace the hard drive, replace the Blu-ray, trying to fix this. And if I go here, it'll show as a trial version. Ah, Actually, it's not showing his trial good. Well, maybe I can actually get some more of her games or some games she'll like. Um, let me find another game here that I know she had. Uh, see, the full game she had until her system, I had to replace everything on here and try to get her machine working. And now it says try demo version free. That means I already downloaded this one for her before. And because Sony screwed up and screwed up her machine, now if she wants to play it again, she'll have to buy the version that was already a full version. But she'll have to play the demo and buy a full version. As you can tell, I actually downloaded quite a few games for her. See, 
try free demo. This was a full version game, so for you, there's a good chance it will be full version if you have not downloaded these games before. Now, if you're into fighting games, they do have a couple Dead or Alive games right now that you can try or, or download the full game. Of course, she's already had these. So it's telling me that I would have to try the demo because she already had the full game on her other hard drive. The thing is, if Sony wouldn't have sent us a screwed up firmware, she would still have all these games full version. Dead or Alive 6, I can actually download and install on her hard drive right now. It is showing as a full game. So, even if your PlayStation is not reading the discs, and for whatever reason, the disc trick is not working for you, it's, it's not spinning, or the, the, the drive itself is grinding when you put something in, then your PlayStation isn't worthless. I still would not put DVDs inside a PlayStation 4 with the, the disk drive grinding. Uh, you don't want to do that. If, if that happens, you have to flip your PlayStation upside down if it won't eject the disk and manually eject it. Um, there's all kinds of videos on YouTube about that, so I'm not going to cover that. Uh, but right now, I could install this game. But my girlfriend doesn't really care for fighting games. Um, once again, there are ways that you can actually still play your machine if your Blu-ray drive is not working. So, if nothing I tell you to do fixes your machine or gets you where you can play your games... And do not beat on your machine. I mean, that that's our, your machine's already messing up. You don't want to hit it. Um, turning it sideways generally is not going to help at all. So that's up to you. Uh, let's see what this game is. So, yeah. You can still download games. You can still play games, even if your drive is not working. Once again, there's not much you can do about it. There are really no user serviceable parts inside of PS4, and even the parts you can get, such as a hard drive you can replace. It's real easy to replace a hard drive on a PS4. Um, you can replace the hard drive. You can even replace the Blu-ray drive if you tear your machine completely apart. I do not advise anyone doing that. It is a royal pain in the ass. And there are so many different size screws in here that it's hard to keep everything and tr track of everything to where it goes. I mean, there are that many screws that they put in one of these. So is your PlayStation 4 worthless? As long as your discs are not grinding, literally grinding, as long as you don't hear it, going, eh, 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 things, something like that, then you can still play DVDs in it, even if your Blu-rays are not picking up. If your discs are not grinding and your Blu-rays are not picking up, which is what a PlayStation 4 disc is, is a Blu-ray disc, most likely, it is the control circuit, little control circuit board that controls your Blu-ray drive. Most likely, that is bad. And other than that, your Blu-ray is probably fine. It's probably that little circuit board that controls it. You cannot get a replacement part for that. That you would have to take it to a shop and have them look at or send it to, most likely send it to Sony. So, you know, I, I know this isn't the best video in the world, but if everything else fails, 
you can still enjoy your PlayStation 4 may not be all the games you want or the games you own but there are ways to still have some games on here and if you don't have to pay for them that's even better remember go to store hit your X button go down to games push your pad this way to the right and then just go down to free push over all the way to the right and you'll see all free games to play and that's where you get your free games from I apologize I wish I had better news for you as far as fixing your machine but no one on YouTube is going to show you how to fix your machine if it's not reading these discs because a lot of the times it will not be the blu-ray drive it will be that little circuit board that controls the blu-ray drive and unfortunately you can't get that part don't go beating on your machine if it's already not reading it's already broken you don't want to break it more all right that's it i'm fixing to go um i hope this helps somebody out with their gaming unfortunately there's not much you can do with a broken ps4 other than replace it or stick it in a shop especially if it's certain parts the blu-ray drive you can find you can replace that yourself i advise you don't it is a royal pain in the ass to tear into one of these and it's so easy to leave screws out that you know they're just out may not get me just a lot of screws and you have to have a certain size tools i do have that kit but unfortunately that's not something you want to do because it's like 12 bucks 14 bucks just for the kit to work on one of these and then you have to buy the parts all right i hope this helps somebody out uh, once again i wish i had better news for you on your playstation 4 but i have been watching numerous videos where people are telling you uh you know turn it upside down beat on it um you know all kinds of stuff and honestly most of the time you're not going to be able to fix this the best trick you can do is the disc trick i taught you in my other video as long as the disc is not scratched that's a major no-no because like i said with a with a uh, dvd the data is like here and here with a blu-ray it's here and here and here and here and here so one little scratch on that blu-ray is going to screw up a whole bunch of data there are places online that you can send your disc to to get them resurfaced sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't they're fairly cheap i do not run a service like that uh, but i have found places you would have to look for uh, game resurfacing and i believe the nearest closest one to me i think is in washington i live in montana but that's up to you um once again, I wish I had better news for you, but there's not much you're going to do. Honestly, there's not. If the disc trick doesn't work for you, and your but your Blu-ray is not grinding, literally, where you can hear it, where it's, you, know, you put a DVD in and it spins just fine, 99% chance it is a small circuit board that controls your Blu-ray drive, the Blu-ray section. I guarantee you that is bad all right that's it i hope this maybe helps somebody out i'm fixing to go everyone have a good day bye